Good morning, everybody. And before we do our calendar today, I want to read you our Bible story that we've been working on. We are working, um, the story is called A Big Move, remember? About where Abram and his family were asked to, by God to move to a new place. So let's listen to this story and then we'll do our calendar. Okay. Abram grew up with two other brothers in a city called Ur. He probably helped his father take care of the sheep, goats, and camels. He may have helped his father dig out large stones so that the garden could be planted in the spring. Abram learned how to work hard and make good choices. His mother may have told him stories about Adam and Eve. She may have told him other stories about Noah and the great flood. As Abram heard these stories over and over, he learned to love God and decided to serve God. But that wasn't easy for Abram to do. Many people in Ur made poor choices. Many of the people did not believe in God. They worshiped other gods called idols. Abram's own father and aunts and uncles began to worship the idols. But even with idols in his own home, Abram still chose to love God and to worship him. As Abram grew older, he learned to love God more and more. One day when Abram was an adult, God spoke to him. God said, Abram, I want you to move away from your family and friends. I want you to move to a new land that I will show you. I will lead you to the new land where it will be easier for you to worship me. I will take care of you and I will bless you, God promised. What would Abram do? Would he stay at home or would he follow God? Hmm. Well, Abram decided to follow God. Immediately, Abram and Sarai, his wife, began to get ready for the long trip. Bundles and baskets were packed with clothes and food and everything that they would need for their new home. The bundles and baskets were loaded onto donkeys and camels for the long trip. There were also lots of sheep, goats, donkeys, and camels that they needed to get ready for the trip. That needed to get ready for the trip. Soon, Abram, Sarai, and his nephew Lot and several servants were all ready for the trip to their new home. There were lots of, lots of hugs and maybe even a few tears as Abram and Sarai said goodbye to all of their friends and relatives. There were no trucks or trains to help Abram and Sarai move to their new home. Everyone had to walk or ride on the back of a camel or donkey. Abram and Sarah may have led this large group of servants and animals along the dusty road that took them away from Ur and towards their new home. Traveling to their new home would take many, many days. With so many animals following them, they had to walk slowly. And there were many servants to take care of all the animals. And many of the servants brought along their families with bundles and baskets of clothes and food and supplies. It was a large caravan of people and animals that left Ur, all because Abram and said to God, I will follow you. Abram was happy to follow God. God says, those who follow me, well, uh, I'm sorry, those who follow my ways are happy. Proverbs 8, 32. To follow God means to do what God says we should do. When we are following, um, I'm sorry, when we are kind to someone else, we are following God. When we share with our friends, we are following God. When we help people at home, we are following God. We follow God and we will be happy. Isn't that a nice story? As a big decision that they decided to do all because God told them that he wanted them to move and he promised he would bless them. Doing what God wants you to do sometimes isn't easy, but it's always the right choice to do. So let's pray today and then we can do our calendar. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for each one of the boys and girls. Please help them to continue to make good choices at home. Help them to find ways to follow you at home, either by helping their families or um, obeying their moms and dads, because anytime we make good choices, it's showing that we follow you and we love you. Thank you, Jesus, for all of the blessings. Thank you for keeping us safe in this crazy time. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good job. Okay, now it's time to do our calendar. So we are in the month of April, and we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 days so far. So the next day would be day 22. And if I point to the 22 and slide it up to our day of the week, it starts with a W. W says, 
wah, wah, Wednesday. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then come Saturday. Remember, yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. What comes after Tuesday? What is today? Today is Wednesday. And if today is Wednesday, what comes after Wednesday? What is tomorrow? Sorry, my dog is making noise. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be tomorrow. Thursday. Let's add one more straw over here. And if that turns my eight into a nine. That's the last number we can have before bundles. So don't miss tomorrow because we can do a bundle dance tomorrow. Okay, so we have 149, 149. I also need to turn over one of my red squares for how many days of school we have left. This is how many we have, 31 days, not very many at all. Have a lovely day today, guys. The sun is out, um, the it, temperature is warm. Go outside and play, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.